Hello, welcome to Mortality with Meat. Today I want to talk about this article that just came out, The Leading Causes of Death in the U.S. for 2020. Um, here are some estimates, and they have a table. Let me make the table big. Okay, so number of deaths uh, for leading causes of death. And uh, we see that the total number of deaths is up about 18% compared to 2019. And let's take a look first at the 2020 column in isolation. And then I want us to look at it compared to prior years. So obviously, 345,000 approximately COVID-19 related deaths. Um, and yet cancer and heart disease still were more, um, but we'll come back to that. After those top three, we have unintentional injuries. And while that may be putting into your mind car crashes, that also includes stuff such as drug overdoses. So keep that one in mind. Um, we'll go back to that in a moment too. Stroke, chronic lower respiratory disease, so, you know, stuff in the lungs, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, flu and pneumonia, kidney disease, and then suicide at the bottom there. Um, these are top causes of death uh, in the United States. Other than COVID-19, this is more or less how the ranking table goes year after year. And you can see that, so let's go back to prior years, that this is the rank ordering of the list. If I just jump all the way back to 2015, we'll see only a few of the items are really out of order in terms of the ranking. Heart disease and cancer are far and away, you know, much bigger than the next ones down on the list. But of course, a lot of these have to do with how you categorize, you know, or how you lump together causes of death. If chronic lower respiratory diseases, or I, I'm sorry, if stroke were, say, combined with heart disease, that would merely boost that one. Um, but, you know, just looking at it, unintentional injuries, stroke, chronic lower respiratory diseases, those are all close, a little bit close in terms of order of magnitude. But the one row that I want you to look at and just follow from 2015 to 2020 is unintentional injuries. I want you to take a look. It starts out about 147,000 deaths in 2015, jumping up to 161,000 in 2016, and it only gets worse. It keeps going up. 2017, 2018 goes down a bit, goes up in 2019, and then it really goes up in 2020. So that increase from 173,000 up to 192, Thousand is an 11% increase year over year between 2019 and 2020. And as I kind of telegraphed ahead of time, no, it's not car accidents that's driving that. It's opioid deaths. Um, so I caught this article in The Economist where it was kind of the graph of the day. And let me focus in on those graphs. Going back to 1999 with regards to drug overdoses, let's look on the left. Um, we do see prescription opioids in the background. It, that's kind of, you know, steadily increasing. Uh, cocaine, that's an interesting uh, pattern. Went up, went down, then went up again. Methadone at a pretty low level. And heroin kind of slowly growing, then around 2010 starting to take off, and then it seems to have plateaued around 2015, and it's still about that same level. But of course, the headline is fentanyl and uh, other synth synthetic opioids. Boom! That's just, um, and this is count, um, it was really taken off since about 20, 2014. Uh, we already saw the unintentional injuries from 2015 to 2016 grew a lot, and it was drug overdoses. It was not car crashes that drove that. If we look on the right, it's a tile grid map uh, where this is showing the increase in drug overdoses. Now they were ending this, it, it looks like 12 month ending August, 2020. So it's not including drug overdoses in the fall and winter. Um, but we can see it goes from a, about a 1% increase at the lower end with the yellowish um, uh, states. 
And then at the upper end, DC and LA, that's about 60% increase year over year. That's a huge increase. I was talking with somebody the other day about it. You have to realize this is the increase year over year in drug overdoses. Just because the uh, increase was high between 2019 and 2020 doesn't mean the rate was relatively high. Um, so we'll have to look at that another time. But that's one of the causes of death from 2020. We see that growth from 173 up to 192, and that's drug overdoses. That's really driving that increase. Other increases we see here, uh, there's a fairly large increase on stroke. Let's go back to the top. A uh, large increase for heart disease, not so large increase for cancer. And that was one of the interesting, it actually came down a little bit compared to prior years, but cancer has been kind of level. Um, and the main reason that cancer deaths may surpass heart disease deaths one day is because it's the death rate due to cancer hasn't been improving as rapidly as with heart disease. So that's kind of interesting. Um, you'll see Alzheimer's disease, that was up 10%. I find that increase suspicious. Um, some people are like, okay, this has to do with the lockdowns in uh, nursing homes, and that may very well be true. But my, the reason I'm suspicious about this is because Alzheimer's disease just seems to be the they died of old age um, uh, cause of death because they're not allowed to say someone died of old age. So if someone is in a nursing home and has Alzheimer's disease and dies, but it's not heart disease or cancer and you never tested them for COVID and their communication was skills were so poor at this time that they could not communicate uh, a lot of the symptoms of COVID. They may have died of COVID instead of Alzheimer's. So, but, you know, they may have really deteriorated in care. And that is something that definitely needs more um, investigation. You see diabetes jumped up a high. And again, I am suspicious of this. Now, it can be that people were not getting treated for their diabetes during the year. But I can imagine um, obesity seems to be a very large factor in how well people survive COVID. So this can be related to diabetics more likely to die of COVID um, just because of the correlation with obesity there. Um, flu and pneumonia was also up. That's not necessarily so sp suspicious. 2019 was kind of a low flu year. Um, you can see prior years um, were also around the same amount or even higher than what we saw for 2020. So who knows? Uh, kidney disease up a little again. It's like diabetes. Uh, if you don't get treated regularly, that can be problematic. I'm, if someone dies of kidney disease, I think that is much more likely to be um, diagnosed properly. But, you know, I, I could be wrong about this, obviously. Now, interestingly, suicide seems to have gone down. But if you look at prior years, this is somewhere in the range of 2015, 2016. Suicides were up. Uh, 2017 to 2019. And some of this, again, let's, you know, hook it back to the drug overdoses. And, you know, it's how much of these are really unintentional and how many of these were suicides. Yeah, so that's happy. Um, we're going to be getting a lot of studies out of 2020 uh, with regards to mortality, obviously cause of death. And I'm wrapping up a blog post right now where I'm looking at the states and who had the worst excess mortality in 2020. Um, and then, you know, eventually I'll want to dig down and look at the causes other than COVID uh, to see how things have changed. That increase for diabetes, really want to look into that unintentional injuries. Ooh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of research centered on the mortality increases in 2020 and not just because of COVID. So, I hope that helps. I'll provide links for the uh, JAMA article so you can take a look at it yourself. It's from people from the CDC. Uh, so this is including, they're doing some estimates. So they will have projected estimates for North Carolina, even though I'm not getting the numbers for North Carolina. Um, and then I have the, uh, the link for the Economist article. And I do recommend, if you're interested in keeping track of mortality trends, going to my actuarial news 
website, actuarial.news, and I've got a mortality category, so you can just look at that stuff if that's what you're interested in. See ya.